So I went to the girl and I told her, you know, how the manager was being racist towards a black person. And I kid you not, this Brazilian girl, white Brazilian girl, looked me dead in my eyes and said, it's okay. You're not black. So black Americans have been placed in a unique position where that they are the representative for black people worldwide. Not that they has to be, not that it's fair, but it's just the reality of it, right? What black Americans do within America is pushed out to the world as what black people do in general, right? And again, we're all fighting for individuality, right? video talking about the Kendrick Lamar Drake beef situation the video is up now if you feel free to check it out and there were a couple of you who made the point that I'm not an American I'm not black American specifically to be talking about this comp to be engaging in this conversation and that black Amer non black Americans specifically should not be discussing anything in regards to this Drake and Kendrick Lamar situation right and, um, and by a couple of you I literally mean two so I wanted to make this video because one for a while I've been wanting to make a video in regards to that black American culture versus you know how um, other cultures perceive black American culture because I'm an outsider technically I'm an outsider right so um, okay so the reason why I wanted to make this video it's not because like oh I, my video I got, got like hundreds of comments mostly positive and you know I only want to address the two negative comments I don't think they're negative I don't think the comments are negative at all right but um the reason why i want to make this video is because i feel like it's necessary because when we're talking about the whole kendrick drake situation one of the things that kendrick keeps reinforcing in his songs is that drake is culturally illiterate which i have a uh, a video up about now and that he doesn't understand the culture appreciate the culture or even make an attempt to understand the culture that he is participating in so i feel like me also it would be it would be hypocritical of me to do the same thing right when i'm discussing the issues that people have with drake as it pertains to his identity him being biracial canadian and non-american you know engaging in a uh, rap hip-hop culture which is predominantly an american culture thing particularly black american when it comes to black american culture particularly it's not one that i like to engage in casually because there are so many different layers and nuances that are necessary to get into to actually make a point um i like to have like a more detailed conversation so more often than not i will not engage in that rhetoric because it would take a long time to discuss um again the different perceptions of black american culture within america and outside of america and because i'm a non-american living in america um, i can see both sides of how black american culture is perceived within america and outside of america again and, and knowing the perception of black american culture within american culture and outside of american culture i know that conversation can get very ignorant very quickly so i don't lightly engage in that because if i'm quickly engaging in that conversation there's a lot of things that i may not be said and it can have the appearance of me um not fully understanding or appreciating or making the full points that i need to make for people to understand what i'm saying so again it's not something i take lightly within all my videos i always make the point to say that i'm not american because i live in american culture right and we're gonna get into that a little in a little bit i live in american culture so i can see how american culture operates and i can see how black american culture operates although i'm not quote unquote black american and I always make the point to say that I'm Haitian and mind you being Haitian in America I completely understand how it feels to be misrepresented within American culture that's one of the reasons why I don't engage also in Haitian um, culture conversations lightly with people because there's so many different details that are important to state when you're having that kind of conversation that may not get to be said within that conversation so for me if I can't have the full time of having a full conversation with someone who is trying to understand the culture I don't engage in it at all again I know I'm, I'm Haitian right I am sensitive about my culture that's one thing about me and Drake having common we're sensitive right so I am extremely sensitive about my culture and most Haitians are very sensitive and protective about our culture for reasons that the outside world may not understand right the outside world may not understand and why Haitians are so proud why Haitians you know although you know they say all these things about Haiti within the media why Haitians are still so proud we always go going in for our culture we're always going in for our country we're always speaking up for our country 
and we have this undying love for our country when to the outside world you know it's been rep represented as oh my gosh these people are terrible they're suffering they're poor you know all these negative stereotypes that have been said about haiti within american culture and throughout the world right so for me i completely understand i feel like it's similar to how black american culture is also represented in the media right talk uh, all these negative stereotypes they have about black americans within american culture and because american culture is worldwide it's global that message is pushed out to the rest of the world about black american culture so i wanted to have this conversation because i feel like it's important and i don't <clears throat> take it lightly and i never want even the mere appearance of me saying or thinking anything negative about black american culture right so for me i take this conversation very seriously that's why i want to have this conversation in a longer um video where i speak to you guys about why i actually engage in this conversation so as i get into this let me tell you guys a brief a brief story so there is a show called boardwalk empire it was on hbo so in that um show it, it the show is about prohibition in america and i forgot what era it was right but within that show there is i don't okay so in that show there is an actor called michael kenneth williams right he passed recently um you guys can look into that right he is a black actor within that show but one scene that always sticks stuck out to me i always remember about this show is i remember again this is during prohibition and um segregation within america so he kenneth's character along with another character another black male um they were um robbing this um white family right and they were holding hostage this white woman and this i think her child her daughter and i'm not sure if the father was there too but at some point during that um robbery and then being held hostage um kenneth's character was more easygoing more understanding you know and while the other character of the other male that was um robbing the family right he was aggressive he was mean he was you know so at one point <clears throat> the the mean character went to another room and the white lady tried to appeal to Kenneth's quote unquote humanity, his character's humanity by saying, you're not like him, you're better than him, you you know, you don't deserve to be doing this, you're so I believe in you, you're so much of a person, better person, trying to appeal to him, like, to let her go and his, and her daughter, right? And he said to her, no, I'm exactly like him. I'm exactly like him. And that always stuck out to me for a couple of reasons. One, the fact that it was the circumstances of america being segregated um <clears throat> mistreating black people not offering employment opportunities not allowing black people to prosper and um not allowing them to have on uh, illegal legal ways of income that's why they resulted to having to rob a family a white family for our money right and also you're trying to appeal to his humanity how do you know it wasn't the circumstances that he's living within that made him like that now you say you're not like him you're not like um this other guy but i know if you saw me down walking down the street and you saw him walking down the street you would put us in the same category in your mind we would we would be the exact same but now that you're looking for to have some mercy you're looking to get away you're looking for somebody to take pity on you you're trying to appeal to my quote humanity as if my actions right now make me less human Human, but the only reason why I resolved to, you know, doing this is because of the lack of the mistreatment I've gotten from your society, your kind, the people that look like you that forced me in this situation. So you know what? Maybe if the circumstances were different, he would have that guy that's the hardcore mean character. Maybe he would have been a nice person. Maybe he would have been gentle. Maybe he would have been kind. But again, it was the circumstances that people who look like you and your husband and your family forced us into that turned this man into who he is today. So yeah, I'm exactly like him we're one in the same so that always stuck out to me right now i say that to say this i was watching um <clears throat> this video by professor sky right s-k-y-e right he's one of these wonderful youtubers that i've discovered um during this whole kendrick um drake beef right and i've watched a lot of his videos and so one of the things he did an interview with justin hunt another wonderful youtuber that i've been watching since discovering um their pages because of this whole beef situation right he did an interview with Justin Hunt where he kind of talked, they both kind of talked during an interview about the us and not like us. Who is the us and the not like us, right? They're not like us. The us is kind of left undefined by Kendrick, right? So who is the us? Is it saying you OVO people are not like, are the us? Is it you Canadians are the us? You PDF files are the us? You um, 
people who without morals and culture and integrity are the us who is the us so the us is kind of left as the x right solve for x the variable so i think kendrick might have done that on purpose so that this they're not like us can be applied in any situation this group of women are not like us this group of men are not like us right or i can't even picture you having like some kind of board meeting in corporate america where they're fighting for some kind of company they're trying to buy or trying to find better workers and use that as i don't know if not like they're not like us is um trademark but i would have thought that somebody like kendrick would have a trademark right so i can picture people even in corporate america saying this company is not like us right and i did see online after the song of course i'm bopping to the song like everybody else right and i saw um a conversation about um someone had posted someone who i presume to be black american made a statement online saying yeah kendrick is talking about all of you guys including other black people who are not from american culture right for me when i'm thinking they're not like us for me it didn't even get go through my mind of course I know Drake is biracial that he was talking about Drake being biracial or Kendrick was saying other black people this applies to basically anybody who's not black American Kendrick is about talk, talking to all of you guys who come to our country um, still our culture um, participate in our culture profit from our culture you know basically all of us are culture vultures to put it plainly right so Kendrick is talking about all of you guys including me and at the time the funny thing is I never thought about myself as the us, right? And when he said that, and I was like, huh, am I the us and they not like us? <laughs> you know, is he talking about me? And I'm like, yeah, it could apply to me. It could be like, you Caribbean people are not like us. You Haitians are not like us. You know what I mean? So, and one of the points that Professor Sky did make is that when he talked about the us and they're not like us, um, of course, in his comments, there are people saying, no, Professor Sky, Kendrick is not talking about you. We rock with you. You, you know, we're your solid. We love the way you represent um, the conversation. Clearly, you have an understanding of culture and what it means for the us. And, you know, you're not like us. So, you know, it's okay. We're not talking. Kendrick's not talking about you. But one of the points that Professor Sky did make was that I'm okay with being the us. And, you know, and they're not like us. I'm not, you know, they're not like us. I'm okay with being the us. Because you have to be self-aware enough to understand when things apply to you and when they don't right so obviously professor sky if you choose to watch his video after this you'll see and make sure you make leave a comment in him like in his comments i would love if professor sky noticed my channel okay so obviously if um make sure you go over there and say sandra said what was talking about you, you give her a shout out say something because i would love that right so yeah you have to be self-aware enough to say yes i love this culture i participate in this culture but this is still someone else's culture i'm still a guest in this culture it's kind of like okay you go to someone's home right you're a guest in someone's home right and let's say she they start two brothers start fighting in their home right you're a guest in this place you're not going to and let's say they start throwing things breaking things you're not going to participate in that because you're still a guest in this house they can do that so there are rules of engagement when participating in someone else's culture and it, it's no different than you know participating in black american culture so when you see a professor sky talking about stuff like that obviously you can obviously see he's a white man he's a caucasian man right so obviously you can see that professor sky is actually a white man so automatically you know he's not he's not one of us quote unquote the x variable of us right but when you see me i do have an accent so you might pick up on my accent you may not right let's say you didn't pick up on my accent you might have thought i'm just american right so it is up to me to make it clear i always make it clear that i am not again an american i always also say i'm haitian because different cultures i may not be american but different cultures have different rules of engagement right um different belief system right so i make it clear because i know that context matters i know language matters and i know culture matters so it matters that i am not an american not only am i not an american i am a haitian person speaking in this conversation so i know i understand the importance and almost all of my videos you're always going to see here i say i'm haitian born like when we're talking about quote unquote baby mama culture i have made videos about that right but i always make the point that i'm haitian within haitian culture this is how it is but i also understand i have lived in american culture long enough to understand how american culture operates what it values what it sees what it seeks um so what i'm saying is when i talk to you about the way american culture operates i let you know but when i talk about 
you know my um how it operates within haitian culture i will always make that distinction because i understand the importance again of cultures and nuances and context right so now <clears throat> to get to the us and they're not like us sometimes i'm the us right and that's fine and it doesn't me being the us doesn't necessarily have to be a negative thing i understand again i am a guest within american culture and more specifically black american culture because i know the way black american culture is perceived and i have lived within a culture again where a lot of the same experiences and perceptions and negative rhetoric have impacted me to the point where if I meet someone, I really don't want to tell them I'm Haitian. Not because I'm not proud to be Haitian. That's Haitians, we love our culture, right? Just like a black American person, if they go different places, people may say this, that. But at the end of the day, you've lived in this culture and you love your culture. We ride for our culture, right? We're proud of our culture. We understand the history of our culture that Americans don't know. Um, we understand the propaganda that's used in American culture to demean, degrade um, Haitian culture. And it's the same thing for black American culture. So I don't think it's a bad thing at all that people point out that... Um, if you're not black American, you should not um, talk about this. And I don't take any offense to it. I actually, before making this video, was talking to someone about making this video, saying, oh, this is what someone said and I'm going to make a video about that. They were like, no, you don't even have to do that because you know you are a part of this culture. You do listen to the music, you do follow everything that's going on. You are as involved as anybody else that's in that culture. So for someone to call you out just because you have an accent, and say hey you are not part of a culture so stay out of the conversation you don't even need to address that but i was like no no no, no. I, I i understand and that point is valid because again going back to professor sky right um he makes music reviews right and he said that he made um a video review of haitian music which i've yet to see because i went to his page i was looking for it if y'all see it let me know um i was looking for it um but me even before watching it i was hesitant to watch it because this is an outsider in my mind talking about my culture so i'm sensitive to that because i know how often that my culture is misrepresented by white people specifically and by american culture specifically right so although i even right now as i talk to you about wanting to see the video i'm kind of hesitant because what's he gonna say am i gonna agree am i gonna disagree am i gonna take offense to it so i completely understand somebody who is black american saying hey you're not black american so you have no right to speak um to engage in this conversation but here's what i will say um i guess i should have said this in the beginning of the video i have started study culture right if you go on my page you'll see i do talk about culturally relevant content within american culture because i've lived in american culture for a while so i have one of the most beautiful thing about being haitian is that i get to be um, have proximity to so many different cultures and I you know benefit from all the richness from, of it right I get to be close to um, American culture black American culture more specifically I get to be within um, Caribbean culture I get to be um, within Latin American culture and some Fran French culture so for me it's like one of the biggest blessings that I can participate in a lot of different cultures but although i you know i still know that it's not my direct culture but within haitian culture itself we have a lot of different practices that are similar to a lot of different cultures like african culture brazilian culture we even have like haitian music compa right and the brazilians have kizomba it sounds very similar similar some of the words in haitian language is the same in brazilian uh, in portuguese um and some is the same in spanish so i it's one thing i get to kind of be like a chameleon and participate in those cultures but i still understand that this is a benefit that i get but i don't get to come in here and disrupt or um take this culture as my own and <clears throat> misrepresent it to the world right so it would be easy for me as a haitian person to lean into other cultures and separate myself from black american culture but because the point i was making is i have a degree in psychology right i have studied culture i have um I have that's one of the one of the main reasons why I started this page is because I have a degree in psychology and I have learned culture I have studied culture I understand the importance of um different um situations and different contexts when discussing specific things within certain cultures right so that's one of the reasons why I engage in this conversation I have studied American culture and I have lived within American culture now have I lived within black American culture per se? No, I have not. I have mostly lived as a Haitian in America. So one thing about America is it kind of like um, forces all black people together as a group. And I think one of the things that black Americans want and are fighting for is individualism. Again, going back to Justin Hunt, right? Who interviewed Professor Sky. So Justin Hunt had a conversation with, is it Talib? Talib Kweli? I don't remember who, but they were having a conversation about um, black American culture 
specifically, right? And he refers to black Americans as foundational black people. Black Americans, and he also said black Americans are not, um, black Americans are not immigrants, right? And that is very true because I think when um, black, when American culture tried to force all black people together, it kind of negates the fact that black Americans are not outsiders within this culture. Black Americans are actually the most popular people within American culture, believe it or not. And that's why I don't like to talk about um, mainstream culture versus black American culture because to me black American culture is the mainstream culture hip-hop music rap music is the mainstream culture just take a look at movies TV shows what do they go for hip-hop music or rap music right so to me black American culture is not the other you know it's not like this is American culture and this is other black Americans are as American as anything else right because I remember there was this one girl she was talking about how when she goes to different countries they um you know people look back look down on her or mistreat her and um, to different black countries and treat her like oh you're an American and but then she was saying no but I'm not a white American um this isn't this doesn't have to be something negative right to me not being a, um, black Americans are as American as the average white people right and it's it's not something I want ever to be I'm not saying that to be negative right but black Americans are as they hold a lot of similar beliefs to white people in America um, hold a lot of different practices where you would find out a lot of things that black Americans have a lot more a black American person born in America with American roots right have a lot more in common than a white person than I would have with a black American despite the fact that we are both quote-unquote black right and that doesn't have to be a bad thing because again going back to Justin Hunt he had that um, conversation interview where they were talking about the importance of understanding that black American culture is as American as anything else it doesn't have to be a bad thing so so they were talking about the need to um, separate black American culture from different black cultures, right? When having certain conversations. And I think that's important. Some people were saying, oh, that rhetoric is divisive. And he was saying that, no, it's not divisive, but it is the divisive, but divisive doesn't have to be a negative thing because to divide means to literally separate. And that doesn't have to be a bad thing, right? So I am making the distinction that yes, in regards to the conversation that Justin Hunt was having, they were making the distinction that yes, black American culture is um, as unique as any other black culture, right? When you have Haitian culture, when you have Jamaican culture, when you have Nigerian culture, we are our own individualized culture. Now, there are a few key things that they discussed that I did not agree with. Again, you're never gonna agree with everything someone says, says right? But for me, I don't think being divisive in that sense and saying because we have historical roots in America. Yes, um, during, you know, the whole slave trade, black, so black Americans were dropped here, Haitians were dropped there, Jamaicans were dropped there, right? Um, and yes, there have been Haitians who left Haiti, came here and built roots here. But it's important to understand that black Americans, this is their native land. One thing I also want to point out is like when people talk about black American culture, they like to say black Americans don't have culture, which is which couldn't be further from the truth because I think people don't un I think a lot of people don't understand what um, it means to have culture right let me read the direct definition of culture everyone have culture right but let me read the di direct let me google right now right so when talking about culture within the within the context that we're discussing right now culture can be customs art, social institutions achievements of a particular nation group or people or social group right so even at work there is a culture um, within American society, <clears throat> you have a culture. <clears throat> so even at work, you have a culture, right? With the practices that you guys have, um, you guys engage in. Social media has a culture. So um, at home, you have your culture, right? Within different social groups, you have specific cultures. So everyone has culture. So I think it's a misrepresentation or a bit of ignorance that some people say black Americans don't have culture because in their mind if you don't practice specific things that people deem as being important to culture that means you don't have culture that's not what it means at all you can have different types of culture and within black American culture specifically it doesn't have to reflect what culture looks like in other black groups because I always say this American culture is an extremely unique culture is so different from everything else and that is no different than black American culture and to me again I don't think black American culture is a subculture of America I think black American culture is the most mainstream culture of America 
hip hop culture and rap culture is actually mainstream American culture. It's part of mainstream American culture. So um, I think American, Black Americans, some Black Americans um, are doing themselves a disservice and thinking that oh, this is a subculture. I never think of Black American as a subculture of America. I think Black American culture is the American culture. So that's why a lot of people are engaging in the rhetoric, right? That's why this beef is, itself is actually so popular within just Ameri not American culture, right? And even in different places outside of the world, right? Outside of America, I mean, right? So the reason why a lot of people are engaging in this conversation, black, white, otherwise, I've even listened to some Russians um, talk about this on their um, YouTube um, channels, right? So many different groups of people are having conversations about this because the fact of the matter is hip hop and rap music is mainstream American culture. So everyone listens to it, everyone engages in it, and everyone, um, is interested in it so technically it's really this conversation i know yes um there is the um, importance of understanding that this is american black american music and culture but the reality is it's also mainstream american music right it's not a subculture or sub genre of music as a lot of people try to portray it to be and i think one thing that a lot of people need to remember and realize is that um, um this beef has reminded a lot of people of is that this culture this music is actually the most popular music within American culture itself. Again, that's why almost everyone is talking about this, including the very president of America. So that's why a lot of people, including myself, are engaging in the conversation about um, this beef, right? And of course, we do have the nuanced conversation about race and Amer black American culture and appreciation or lack thereof of black American culture and understanding black American culture specifically within American culture. So when people say black Americans don't quote unquote have culture, clearly you don't, people don't understand what it means. Culture actually means. So for me, um, again, I know that because I have a degree and I have studied culture, I feel like I do qualify to speak on certain things, but I am not negating the fact that I am actually a guest within this culture. I, of course, the foods I eat are different from American culture and black American culture specifically. Um, the music I listen to, although I participate in, you know, some of the practices of black American culture specifically, I still have my Haitian culture that I practice and Caribbean culture that I practice, you know, certain, um, certain, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Certain practices within black, um, Caribbean and Haitian culture that I engage in that's different you know fundamentally different from black american culture so i understand that and i don't take it lightly when people say you shouldn't engage in this conversation again i was saying that when a black people in america are kind of grouped as one so in the eyes of the white american be they from anywhere else in the world maybe a german person maybe a russian or french or whatever when you have white people or every other group that come to america right they learn how to treat black people specifically and black people particularly black american people particularly a specific way based on the way that they see that they get treated within this culture and they learn and pick up that practice if that makes sense right so black um in america in the eyes of the average non-black person um if you are black and live in america then technically you are black american i don't know if that makes sense i hope that's making sense right although although there is a very distinct practice culture for black americans and i understand that and i do not negate that and even in my conversations i always make it a point to discuss the fact that i am not an, a black quote-unquote black american in the sense that there is an actual black american culture with its own practice with its own language with its own belief system with its own values and although you know i may engage in it at times it is not my culture you know what i mean and i understand the conversation of when people say you know you're not part of this culture but here is the reality of it the reality of it is black americans have been placed in a unique position where because american culture is global they are the representative for black culture worldwide right black americans have been placed in a unique position where that they are the representative for black people worldwide not that there has to be not that it's fair but it's just the reality of it right what black americans do within america is pushed out to the world as what black people do in general right and again we're all fighting for individuality right we want to be unique we want to be different and we want to be recognized as individuals right the very um um the very reason for this conversation we're having here right and also the unique there's also another unique aspect of black american culture like i'm uh, being black is not only a race but it's also an identity it's also black so when black america a lot of some black americans will talk and say oh black culture but 
they're talking about black american culture there isn't that distinction because me yes i am black but my culture and my race and my ethnicity is different right it's haitian culture that i practice my ethnicity you know my nationality is actually different but when black americans are the representative to of speaking about being black and that goes out worldwide so that automatically applies for um any black person from everywhere right and i think that's one thing that not black black people who are not born are not black americans non-black american black people fight against and it's something that black american people fight against so i know justin hunt talked about how people always talk about it being a slippery slope that he hears that but it's not fair and i agree i don't think it's a slippery slope but i think it is a unique situation where everyone's fighting for their own individual identity and one of the things that justin hunt talked about um and the person he was interviewing i think it was talib Kweli. i don't remember it's killing me that i can't remember it right now but um in the conversation that they were having is that that's one thing i disagree with him about he said that when black um, people non-black american black people do something um positive they want to to be known that i'm haitian you know a haitian did this uh jamaican did this you know but when it's like something negative um and when it's something positive that black americans do um, black non-black American black people also try to take credit for it like hip-hop music, you know Try to attribute um, hip-hop music and rap music to um, be having been started in Jamaica Which is something I learned that is not true or the Caribbean itself, right? So we all could technically take credit from it and one thing that black Americans he um, he refers to black Americans as foundational black Americans So if I say foundational black Americans, then you know who I'm talking about. I'm talking about black Americans born within american culture with ancestry within american culture right so <clears throat> when talking about foundational black americans um when they do something positive all black people try to take credit for it right and that's just natural right everyone wants to be associated with something good but when black americans specifically do something bad then it's like no that's them black people we're not all black you know it's not us you know i'm jamaican you know trying to i don't think we try to take credit for everything positive and say we're haitian i'm haitian and did that because we're trying to separate ourselves from black americans specifically for me i can only speak to, to myself uh, for myself as a haitian person let's say i become super um famous it's not something i want let's say i become super popular and successful right and I'm sure a lot of Haitian um, <laughs> um, newspapers, whatever, are going to try to claim me. Oh, this is a Haitian because everybody wants to be associated with something positive, right? Even in Haitian culture, you have no idea how many Americans, Black American people that we claim. We claim Usher, we claim Beyonce. We claim everything just because Beyonce said she was Creole one time and we speak Creole, Haitian Creole. It's like, oh, Beyonce is Haitian. We try to claim everything positive. But um, us saying, you know, I'm sure those publications that would, let's say, post out articles about me doing something positive would make the point that I'm Haitian not because if we're trying to specifically distinguish ourselves from black Americans but it's just because we want you to know yes our people are doing this as a Haitian especially within American culture where um, the rhetoric about Haitians is so negative we are the ones that have to put out the positive stories about ourselves so I understand his point but I don't necessarily fully agree with it right and again I don't think it's a slippery slope I think it's black Americans wanting to get the recognition because when it's something positive um, everyone comes in and takes from it and participate in it but when it's something negative it's like oh, that's not me but for me also I think it would also be you know when I I, I I lived in South Florida for uh, most of my time in America, right? Where they have a large Caribbean population and Haitian population, right? So I remember it was the first when I until I came to America, it was the first time I learned that I wasn't quote unquote black, right? Because I remember one of uh, other kids said to me, "You're not black, you're Haitian," and I was like, "What?" yes i am black what do you what do you mean i am black but because black and within american culture means you know being culturally black american from the um foundational black americans right so be, being haitian I th and also it's a miseducation that people have about race and culture and ethnicity and nationality i can't you can't be black and haitian you can't be black in american right so and also for me the story I took going back to the story I told you about um, that scene from that show where he says yeah I'm exactly just like them I never tried to separate myself from black Americans even when people try to separate me from being black American as something in their mind that's positive for me I always um, I never accept it right because it would be easy for me to lean into the I'm Haitian I'm not like them right you know going back to when he said no I'm exactly like them because I know how you see me when I'm walking down the street you don't know if I'm black American you don't know if, if I'm Haitian or Nigerian or Jamaican or, you know when I until I speak you have a conversation with me right or unless I tell you if you unless you can you know pick up on my accent right 
so going back to that scene it's like sometimes people try to separate me as a way of giving me a compliment but to me you know you will one thing people will never do is put down black americans to elevate me you will never do that no i'm exactly like them you know i am black first one of my favorite um revolutionaries is malcolm x right because of what he stands for and i just of course i have um toussaint louverture um and jean-jacques desalines which are haitian revolutionaries but american revolutionary he is uh, malcolm x and jean-jacques desalines are my two favorite revolutionaries right um so for me it is not a compliment to me other people think it is to try to separate me um because in my mind you think the same thing and then for me it's a bit selfish too right because i want you to see all black people because i am black and at the end of the day it's a reflection on me right i want um you to see black people as people and see us in a positive light right so that's why i speak about the um i have the conversation that i have with you guys online because that conversation is unique and it's important because again i don't want to make this video too long i feel like this video is going to be like an hour long so if you've made it this far i appreciate it give give me a like because i feel like this is a conversation that we need to have and if you feel like this is a conversation that other people need to see please go ahead and give me a like and subscribe and push me into that algorithm and share this video i would appreciate it so again for me it would be easy for me to lean into the i'm not black I'm Haitian as a way of separating myself, but no, 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 I'm exactly like them, right? For me, I'm black first. So that's why I engage in the conversation, right? I remember one time I was at work, something happened with a black person at work and I was working with this Brazilian um, girl. And you know, Haitians are very uh, popular within Brazilian culture. Um, and we like, we bleed green and yellow, you know, when it comes to outside football, not American football, right? Um, if you're American, you may not appreciate this, but, um, when it comes to football, Haitians, like you could have the Haitian team competing against Brazil. Haitians are going to root for Brazil because when it comes to football, we're Brazilian first, right? So um, we love uh, Brazilian culture and we have a relationship with Brazilian culture because Haiti is one of the countries responsible for Brazil gaining its independence, right? So it would be easy for me to lean into the I'm not black, I'm, 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 I'm Haitian, right? But I remember, again, I was telling you, I was telling you this story. There was this girl, um, Brazilian girl. I was working with something happened with a black person at work. I didn't know if they were American or not, but I was very upset because my manager was being racist towards them. I can make another story about what happened with that, right? Um, I was, um, yeah, so I was very upset. So I went to the girl and I told her, you know, how the manager was being racist towards a black person. And I kid you not, this Brazilian girl, white Brazilian girl, looked me dead in my eyes and said, it's okay, you're not black. And I said, ah! <laughs> to me, I was ready, like, what do you mean? Like, yes, I am, <laughs> you know, but in her mind, she's Brazilian. And in Brazil, he are Haitians black Americans are black you know so in her mind I'm not black I'm Haitian but it's, but to me it was like first of all there's so many things wrong with this conversation right even if I was not black I should still be upset that a black person is being mistreated and what do you mean I am black right so it would be easy for me to lean into that I'm not black I'm Haitian conversation but to me that would be an insult not only to my intelligence but my conversation the education that I pay so much money to get and it would just be you know it's just absurd right but and again so i'm saying all of that to say the reason why i engage in this rhetoric is um because i understand the importance of it as it pertains to um culture and black people not with it not only within america because the reality is the conversation about black people within america does not just stay in america it affects um black people outside of america and me it is me being selfish because this also in the end <laughs> impacts me you know black people being looked at negatively within american culture impacts me because i'm a black person and it is selfish yes and not only that black people um being branded as something within that's the conversation i had when, with the whole drake situation he like embodies the most negative stereotypes about black people and push it out to black people within america and outside of america right and at the end of the day it impacts me too and again i'm always rooting for black people and myself right so that's why i engage in the conversation i hope you guys understand what i said um and also the reason why um and i don't take it lightly that and i don't negate the fact that i am a guest within black american culture i know i'm not black american um that doesn't change my appreciation for black american culture i know i don't 
practice of everything that a black Americans practice. You know, I don't there I'm so there are certain things that I just wouldn't get when it comes to black American culture specifically. So I understand the point and your point is valid. I could just ignore it and say, you know what? I am part of this culture. I practice part of this culture. I listen to this, you know, I, da, da, da. but at the end of the day, I understand your point. I am against a guest within the culture. And that's why I'm always very careful about what I say about black American culture specifically, because I know how um, black Americans are misbranded and misrepresented to the world. And um, that always hurts my heart. And I don't like to see it. I don't engage uh, with, you know, people who practice bashing and trust me, just me. I know. I know what um, people outside of America think about Black Americans specifically, including other groups of Black people. The xenophobia um, towards Black Americans. Um, I understand it. Of course, there is xenophobia with. F within American culture towards black culture outside of the world. When I say American culture, I mean all Americans, whether you're uh, black, white, Hispanic, whatever. I understand the branding of um, Americans. If you're born in America, there is a certain world belief you have toward outside the rest of the world, especially black people outside of America. Um, so I understand how it works. And because of that, I try not to engage in this rhetoric and especially when it's trying to demean disrespect and belittle black american culture i do not take it lightly that i am i have the privilege of participating within this culture and being able to have this conversation so this is why i have this conversation i'm going to stop now um if you made it this far again i appreciate you for watching is this a heart <laughs> I appreciate you guys for watching and please again this is a conversation I feel is important for everyone to hear please share it um like it subscribe and yeah I will talk to you later bye Mwah.